my role at London's Air Ambulance is uh, I'm the clinical lead for the Physician Response Unit. And the Physician Response Unit is a collaborative service that runs with London's Air Ambulance, Bart's Health NHS Trust and London Ambulance Service. What we try and do on the physician response unit, the PRU, is take the emergency department to the patient and deliver community-based emergency medicine to patients of East London. We take a rapid response car, we take in that car a emergency medicine doctor, ambulance service clinician, and a whole lot of kit and equipment and know-how about how to try and treat these patients the best we can. We can respond to all kinds of emergency, be that critical illness or we can respond to patients with lesser types of emergency and try to help them um, in the best way that we can. The PRU has had to respond in a really agile way to the challenges that the, the COVID-19 pandemic has um, sort of thrust upon us all that work in healthcare. It's also happened at a time that we've expanded the service uh, to deliver a second car uh, and increased our operational hours. There's also been a real peak in obviously attendances in hospital and particularly via ambulance um, of patients with severe respiratory illness uh, and trying to work out which ones of those patients do uh, need to have tests, investigations and admission to hospital uh, and which ones are actually um, safe to stay at home and be managed at home. Some of the patients with coronavirus symptoms are clearly very ill and some have got very mild symptoms um, but what we haven't necessarily known about the the course of the illness is which ones of those patients will become more ill and which ones of those patients will uh, naturally get better. So we've um, innovated um, alongside our partners in community care, um, home monitoring uh, of patients. Uh, we've been able to give them oxygen monitoring packs and temperature monitoring packs uh, and have them followed up by local GPs on a daily basis. Um, and uh, in instances where they do become more unwell, we've offered the PIU to go and provide another layer of um, clinical assessment and make a decision about whether or not they need to be in hospital. Another example would be um, there are some really vulnerable groups of patients because of underlying medical problems, because of healthcare needs that they've got, um, who going to hospital at a time when infection control and infection prevention is an absolute priority uh, will lead them to feel very anxious um, and potentially put them at risk. So an example of those are patients that have got um, uh, acute cancers uh, and receiving treatment that really knocks out their immune system sometimes and puts them at risk of developing infections. And we've worked with our partners in the um, cancer services across Bart's Health. And so we've been able to go and see some of those patients uh, and assess them, initiate treatment where required, speak to the specialists involved and offer a bit of support in that way. And I think there's another sort of stream of patients that we've really tried to help. Um, and that's the, the frail group of patients actually who recognize in themselves or whose families recognize in themselves that they are very ill um, and that they are likely to die. And I think there's been a lot of concern about undignified and difficult dying processes when the whole of the healthcare sector has had its attention diverted on the sort of the emergency need of managing uh, coronavirus and freeing up capacity. Um, and actually, it's really important that, that people's, uh, the ends of people's lives are managed well with good informed discussions and access to, you know, comfort care to keep them uh, out of pain and out of uh, distress and agitation uh, in their sort of dying days, hours and moments. We're able to go and institute some of the processes that need to be instituted, prescribe some end of life medications, have those difficult conversations and set appropriate sort of thresholds for what happens next and make sure that people understand and are well informed and have a chance to ask and have their questions answered. Uh, and the PRU team, I think, has, has really risen to that, um, to that challenge.
I think the PRU is a really important part of the care that, that the charity provides and alongside its sort of two key partners, Bart's Health and, and London Ambulance Service. Uh, and as innovations go, I think in the last few years, the development of community emergency medicine through the PRU development has, has actually really began to attract uh, national and international attention because you know, there's something about emergency departments reaching out into the community, which hasn't necessarily happened in you know, huge amounts before. And I guess recognise that there's no such thing really as an A&E patient or an ambulance service patient or a GP patient. There's a lot of variation in how people seek emergency healthcare. And what we're trying to do is kind of bring it all together and make sure that the patient is right at the centre of it and able to get the best experience, uh, the most appropriate care, um, really empowered by delivering that in the setting which is often the patient's home. It's really important that people realise that um, in spite of these uncertain and sometimes quite uh, daunting and challenging times, um, the uh, NHS and its partner organisations like London's Air Ambulance is really there on a footing to provide the best care available uh, and that we don't want people um, anxiously hiding away with brewing medical problems when normally they would seek help. We want people to seek help. We're very pleased to, to see things like clap for our carers and, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's been very humbling uh, and very touching, but I think the sentiment for most of us is that it really is a privilege to do the job that we do uh, and that we wouldn't be anywhere else at the moment. So um, thank you for the support, uh, but, um, and please remember that, uh, that it is our privilege to be able to serve you uh, doing this job. I think um, I'd also just like to recognise how hard the PIU team and the, the, the wider London's Eremonence and Bart's Health teams have worked to actually mount a really phenomenal response, actually just putting patient care right at the top of the agenda and making sure that we're there to, to provide for their needs. So thank you to the team.